Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Stoger STR9. New for 2019, Stoger entered the handgun market with this STR9. I did not even know it existed. You guys said, hey, Stoger came out with a handgun. It's called the STR9, you need to check it out. It's a polymer frame, striker fire, compact size handgun that's selling for under 300 bucks. So I did, I looked into it and I said, yep, these guys are right. I picked one up, went right to the range. So I did a range review first, and I left impressed. You know, with a center hold, I hit my targets, no problem. It felt no comfortable. It was reliable. Everything fed, fired, and ejected just fine. I ran some steel case through it. it. It performed outstanding. And it felt like a higher-end gun that is priced very affordably. And then I, I don't know, man. I, I just thought... I, I was very much impressed. I guess that's just the way I should say that. Now, it does come in various packages. This came with one mag, one backstrap. They have other packages, two mags, two backstraps. They have another one that includes night sights. And that uh, all depends on what you are willing to pay. But the features that they have with this gun could be cheap, but they're not because it does have steel sights. All right, nice little lip there so that you could uh, charge the gun off a, a belt or a boot or something like that. Steel three dot sights, adjustable. A loaded chamber indicator bar that pops up there. Full 1913 Picatinny rail. Nice front and rear serrations. It looks sharp, but it's actually not. You know, it's actually quite comfortable to, to charge the gun. And a full length steel guide rod the trigger has a trigger bar safety in there i measure it right pretty consistently six and a quarter pounds sometimes it was six and a half but we're looking at this right here all right you can feel that that bar and there's your reset so about halfway to full position i would say right there not very audible so let's compare it with a glock 19 everybody's familiar with a Glock 19 all right so we're looking at that now if you look at the slide length both four inch barrels you can see that it, it looks like the Stoker goes a little bit longer but that barrel just sticks out just a hair to make it pretty even and then with the grip the Stoker does go about a half inch longer on the grip it, it gives you a sense of a full size gun when you grip it here's the Walther PPQ all right, and then we'll look at the slide length here. We'll see the just a hair longer with the Walther, and then a little longer with the Stoger grip once again. Both these other guns hold 15, 15 rounds. And then the disassemble is just as easy, just as easy as those. It does have a sight hole indicator there. But we'll pull the slide back, I already showed clear, take these tape down tabs, pull the trigger, and off comes the slide. There is the frame. And then here we have a captured recoil spring and a steel guide rod. 4.17 inch barrel. Look at that. Not bad at all i have to say guys now it does come in this cardboard box here all right with the stoger logo in the box paperwork lock and speed loader i'm not going to open the box and say oh this is what it comes in the box i don't think you guys much care to you care but you don't need to see every last thing so here we go here's the weight unloaded weight one pound, 10 and a quarter ounces. We move that to just ounces, 26 and a quarter ounces. Let's go ahead and compare that with a Glock 19, 23 and three quarters ounces. So we're looking at a lighter Glock 19. Let's check out the PPQ. 25 and 3 eighths. So that's, that's actually closer. 26 and 38 so one ounce heavier with the stoger all right so here we have 15 rounds you know i didn't mention much about the mag but you can take a look at that it's got some nice ridges in there sight hole indicators in the back some people were complaining that the the mag doesn't drop free certainly does with mine but it is loaded let's go ahead and 
turn the scale back on and we'll see that the loaded weight is two pounds five eighths ounces 32 five eighths carry round 33 and one eighth that's the loaded weight so there it is guys very impressive I, I took it to the range and shot really well uh, I I felt comfortable like right away I just turned the camera on and just started shooting so everything that I shot initially is what you guys saw it, it felt comfortable even with the one-handed shooting total confidence with the Stoger STR 9 and um, I'm glad I'm glad they entered the the handgun market now I know a lot of people say well we'll be another nine millimeter well you know when I went to shot that's all I saw was all the new releases were nine millimeter like one after another so I'm glad Stoger entered the market I'm glad that they they came out with this STR 9 I'm glad they uh, price pointed it where they did because I think the more people check it out the more they experience it and the more reviews they see they will be impressed with everything it has to offer for a, a budget priced nine millimeter handgun I guess that's the best way to say it and there it is the Stoger STR 9 I'll be comparing it and bringing it back out as time goes by. I think the more you look at it, the more impressed you will be. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.